Hello everybody, it's Outlaw from CCTV, the current cartoon television. I'm joined with Gundam. What's up guys? So we just got done watching Samurai Jack episode number 6. Oh my god, this was a good episode. I freaking loved it. Alright, what is the synapse of this episode? Synopsis of the episode is that Ashi's search for Samurai Jack helps her see his effect on the world after encountering numerous people and places in which he had changed them for the better. Oh yes, she did. And uh, some beautiful, beautiful landscape that we have seen on in this Love world. Love the artwork in this episode. Oh yeah. So, uh, what did you like about this the most? I love the different locations. I mean, every location had a unique look to it, and the colors were so vibrant and so immersive. And I really, really love how they took the art style to. They keep pushing it to the limit, and it keeps getting better. The music was amazing and fantastic. The Each area that she goes through and these locations that Aku has no control over have amazing, upbeat, lively music, and I just lo- I loved every second of it. And all the wacky characters you see in each location, too. And uh, some, some cameos we saw from a different show. I saw Astro from the Jetsons in there. You see that? Oh, yes, I did see that. I was actually laughing my head off when I saw Astro. It was out of control amazing, and I absolutely loved it. What did you love about the episode? Oh, I definitely love the background stories of each nation that uh, she actually sees. We actually get to see some of the episodes that Jack was in the first four seasons. Mm-hmm. And uh, I love the visual effects of this uh, episode. They are pushing the boundaries. They are just making this thing a beautiful artwork. Not a TV show anymore. It's more of an art. Mm-hmm. Especially the rave dancing is like mm-hmm. amazing work and all that. I would love to go into something like that in my heyday. I love the, uh, the soundtrack. If they do end the series and everything, I want the soundtrack because I know that every song in this it has like a full version because when they do this type of detail, they go all around. And uh-huh. I, that's what I want to see. Oh, yeah. And then I like how uh, she cleans herself mentally and physically away from Aku's evilness. She looked really nice after the transformation back into into a regular person again. And now, not like you said, not only on the outside, she's also seeing inside that Aku is not the right person anymore. Right, yes, and now, uh, man. And then the stories that she heard about Jack and all that, that is such great background stories and all that. And, and speaking of Jack, when we actually do find Jack in the episode, he is on the brink of ending it all. And it, it, the in cinematography is amazing. The fight between uh, Ashi and the uh, samurai spirit, the omen, is fantastic. And Jack just struggling to, in his mind, to really grasp, you know, is, is this going to be the end or not? Right, yeah. Now, we were kind of right. The omen is actually death. I'm yep. still going to call him death, but now he actually has a name. He's the omen. And he was pushing Jack so hard to end it. At the last second, Jack redeems himself or atones his mind at the very end and what did jack say at the very end of the episode it's time to find my sword oh yes we're going to go find that sword now that's what leads us to the next episode but what do you rate this episode i give this episode a five out of five absolutely amazing they're still doing it it's still perfect one for one every single time oh yeah this is definitely gonna five five this is gotta be one of the best episodes if this episode came out first, then the other ones, I would have to like say the other ones would be a 4.5. But this one, definitely a 5.5. Five, five. Five. We're doing great, guys. This is almost over. We only got three more episodes left. I cannot... I don't want to see this end. Like I might even do that one thing where I don't watch the last episode, but I will watch it. Oh yeah, you better watch it because you're gonna to have to do the review on it. Mm-hmm. If we, do, I still think in my theory that the person that he was fighting when he lost his sword was actually himself. Like he was having an internal struggle, and the Jack that we knew back in the season one through four, and the Jack we know from season five onward right now, were having that internal battle, and the sword was lost. That's yeah. my theory. Yeah, now I'm actually uh, believing that theory more and more because we definitely see Jack go into a mental state, like a meditation, to find his sword. And then Ashi looks like it's going to be protecting him from a army of uh, Aku soldiers. soldiers. Like always, like and subscribe to this channel, get those notifications. And uh, don't forget to comment and uh, see what you guys have for the theories as well. We'd love to hear everything you guys have to say. And you know, keep watching the show, keep supporting us, and uh, thank you so much. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye.